hey guys welcome back to my channel you know it's your girl shans night and i am back with another video so in this video i will be showing you guys how to maintain your braids and how to keep it up how to have it lasting longer and looking more neater are looking just as if it was just done so if you guys are interested in this uh, if you guys are interested to see how i do this you can just keep on watching so guys um as you all know if you have been keeping up with my channel if you're new before i get into this video though if you're new welcome to the family and if you are a regular degla thank you for sticking with me so um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to don't forget to share and don't forget to leave a comment that's all i ask of you so uh, and guys i realize that most of my viewers are from persons who are not subscribed so i will ask those who are viewing to subscribe if you want to keep up to date and don't miss out on any upload that i do so without further ado let's get into the video so i'm going to show you guys how to maintain your hair how to keep it looking all fresh as you guys know i did this hair um well i guess you guys want to know exactly the day but i did this hair about 10 days ago so this was 10 here 10 days ago and it is still looking neat and it i think it's still looking neat and i can go another week with it but i'm gonna show you guys how i keep up with it and how i how i treat it and i can tell you that this style is a really good protective style because in the mornings when i'm going to work all i do is just loose it out and then i just put in all my little stuff in it to make it look all new all fresh again so that's what i'm going to show you guys how i do it to have it all looking fresh so some of the items that i will be using in this video i guess you will need your you will need a mousse your selection i'm using the latter body mousse and you need a growth oil i guess any growth oil can use but i'm using the soft tea growth oil I'm using a edge brush. You can use a toothbrush and your rat tail comb, but I'm using a edge brush. You, this is a edge control that you can use as well. I don't really use the edge control like that, but I'm just showing you guys just in case you want to use it. If you don't want to use the mousse, you can use the edge control. And then you will need your rat tail comb for persons who don't who doesn't have their teeth edge brush so you will need your rat tail comb so as you can see this is what the hair is looking like this is it it is still looking fresh for 10 days don't it guys i'll show you the back there's the back that's what it's looking like now so i'm going to show you guys how to maintain it so the first thing i do whenever i am fixing my hair is that I would use my growth oil so I will take my growth oil and I will use the snuggle and I will run it through here so I'm just hiding my scalp so you can use any growth oil you have you don't have to use the same brand that I'm using but this also keep your hair from not being itchy and all of that because I don't get a lot of itch but I love this I feel like when I take out when I when I loose out this I am going to do it but do it in a different color because I don't want it to look like it's the same style so I'm going to do it in a different color so if you guys missed the video where I did this braid you guys can check it out somewhere here or somewhere there somewhere on the screen you guys can check out the video after you finish watching this video so after you oil your scalp, and it, it's recommended that you get one that has this, like have this, the applicator like this, because you can just run it through. So you run it through, and then after you run it through, you're going to take 
I'm I normally take my mousse and I put a little in my hand and I do it like this. I don't think you have to use so much as I'm using but I just love when it's laid and I'm using the comb part of the of the of the um the edge brush and then I go to the next side Do the same thing. This is what it's looking like. You can use your your edge your edge control if you want, like any edge control of your choice so now I'm finished with the baby hair so I'm going to tie it down for about five minutes and then you guys will see so I'm gonna get my tie so guys I'm back so I'm back with my my head scarf my hair scarf so I'm going to just tie this down for about five minutes and then I will come back for you guys to see the finished look but this is what I have right now. This is how it's looking. So this can be done on um, cornrows. It can be done on knotless braids. It can be done on single braids. Whichever braid this is, this can definitely be done on any hair, any braiding hair. So I'm gonna tie this down. So what I do is just tie it. Okay. Uh, so now that I am finished with making all my baby hairs and doing all my applications and all of that I'm going to put a wrap strip just for five to ten minutes just to ensure that everything is well neat but if you don't have wrap strips you can just use your scarf you can use your scarf because I'm still gonna be putting my scarf over this, but you know, with the wrap strips, these are the wrap strips. No, I'm going to be putting my scarf. So, take my scarf and I just wrap it around the hair. And I'm going to be leaving this for 10 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks. So, guys, I'm going to check on it now to see how it's looking. So I'm going to be removing my scalp. And then now I'm going to be removing my wrap strip. Just using a scissors to cut it. And 
and this is it this is how it's looking it's looking brand new a brand new second hand as you can see right here on this braid is looking frizzy what it is just put the top is on it and you just have it and you have it looking all smooth again so that was the only one looking fuzzy so just put your your mousse or your wrap, your foam wrap or anything on it anywhere that is looking frizzy or anything like that and then you will see it looking brand new again so i thank you guys so much for watching if this video was helpful to you don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and also tell a friend to tell a friend about shan's night so on that note bye bye guys